Are you excited? You think you're ready for this? Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. And Zaya. And today we are back for another Zaya's hair routine video. It is Sunday night. Sunday nights are hair washing days. I have done a handful of videos like this over the years, ever since Zaya was a little baby. I've been doing these videos showing you guys kind of like our Sunday hair washing day routine and taking you guys through the whole process of like how I wash and take care of and style her hair. So if you have not seen all those videos, definitely go check them out. It's actually really cute to see Zaya grow up in those videos over the years and see her hair grow. But this one is going to be different because we are gonna be doing something that we have never done before. Zaya saw a picture of the McClure twins, which if you don't know, they are two really cute twin girls. They have a YouTube channel and stuff and they've done a lot of hair content. They have really long, beautiful curly hair. But I showed Zaya a picture where they had their hair straightened and Zaya was interested. So what are we gonna do? Do today straighten my hair <gasps> oh my goodness big moment those of you guys who have curly hair at home watching this you probably remember the first time you ever got your hair straightened and how much of just a big deal that it can be even though it's like it's just hair it's really not a big deal but it is special right this is a new special hairstyle that you haven't tried before right are you excited you think you're ready for this so I am going to be straightening Zaya's hair today. First, we've got to wash it and detangle and then blow dry. And then I'm going to flat iron it. So let's get into it. Okay, before we straighten your hair, I'm gonna ask you some questions because I know people watching are gonna to wanna to know. First of all, how old are you? Five. And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. And do you love your curly hair? Yes. Yes, you love curly hair. We love curly hair in this household. We've always worn it curly. We always do twists or braids or curly styles, um, but it's also just fun to try new and things, buns. right? Yeah, and buns. But it's also fun to just try new things sometimes and switch up your look. And I think five years old is old enough to straighten your hair. You think so? But I'm not five years old. How old are you? Five and a half. Oh, okay, well, five and a half. I think five and a half is old enough to straighten your hair. You think so? Now, the thing with having straight hair, I'm gonna warn you, you have to be really careful with it because it can get messed up easier. Because if you play outside and it gets wet, or if you're like playing in the bathtub and it gets wet, it's gonna go back curly. So if you wanna like keep it straight and keep it looking nice, you might have to be a little bit more careful with the way that you sleep and the way that you take a bath and maybe even wear a shower cap in the shower if you want to keep the style and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a hot minute to straighten your hair so probably gonna want to try to keep it like that for at least a week so my friends can see it so your friends can Grammy see it at can school see it and Papa can see it. yeah and Grammy and Papa will see it they're gonna be so like impressed they're gonna be like wow Zaya you look like such a big girl everyone's probably gonna be like wow oh my gosh because they never seen you with hair like that are you ready for that type of attention Okay, let's wash your hair. So first step on hair washing day is to take her previous style down, obviously. It was supposed to be two twists. It was originally two twists. They kind of untwisted themselves, but I put some little beads at the end. So I'm just going to cut the rubber bands off the bottom to get the beads off. And I have this handy dandy little rubber band slicer, which actually really does come in handy. I can link these in the description box for you guys. You can get it off of Amazon. You just slice the rubber band. And it helps you make sure not to like accidentally cut their hair when you're doing that. And then slide the beads off. And like I said, this twist kind of already untwisted itself. So this is what her hair looks like after a full seven days of not really touching it, <laughs> to be quite honest. Sometimes I will like refresh her hair midway through the week, but normally if she's just going to school, I mean, I know it's gonna get messed up at school anyway, so I've kind of given up on the hope and dream of having her hair look perfect every morning. So I normally just style it on Sundays and pretty much leave it until the next Sunday. That way I'm not 
you know, kind of just wasting my time trying to restyle it when I know as soon as she gets home from school, it's gonna look fuzzy anyway. So as long as it still looks decent throughout the week, that's all I really aim for. And so we will see with straightening her hair, how it actually holds up during the school week. Of course, this is our first time doing this, so I have no idea how it's gonna hold up. It could only last for one day. You never know, hopefully not. So I'm just going in and like separating her hair because it was all twisted up. And this is like the most important tip that I can give you curly hair mamas out there is take the time to kind of like pre-separate and pre-detangle the hair before you even start washing it. It makes a world of a difference. Cause if you just take like tangled hair and slap water on it, to me, it just like makes it worse. So I just try to go in with my fingers and carefully like separate, pull it apart, kind of like finger detangle. Okay, so here is her hair all taken down and finger combed out. Okay, stop being silly, let's see. Okay, turn around to the back. So this is it before we get into the bathtub. She does have a decent amount of hair. And if you stretch it down, it's like down to her waistband. So it's pretty long. Okay, so now we are going to get into the shower and wash. So to shampoo and condition her hair, I typically always use Carol's Daughter products. I just really love this brand for her hair. This time I'm gonna be using the Coco Cream Collection. This is just for intense moisture. It is a curl quenching shampoo and conditioner, so really great if you're planning on wearing your hair curly, but you know, softening and moistening and moisturizing, I guess, your hair is still good for when you're about to straighten it. So this is the line that I'm gonna be using today. Okay, so hair washing and styling, as y'all know, is a long process. So we were having to multitask and um, eat at the same time, so don't mind that. But this is what Zaya's hair looks like now that it has been thoroughly shampooed and conditioned. The thing about Zaya's hair is that it's actually not that thick. Sometimes it could look kind of thick, but it's really not thick. She has more of a fine, hair texture actually. So her hair actually dries, like air dries super fast. She has only been out of the bathtub for maybe like 20 minutes, just long enough to put her pajamas on, three minutes of macaroni in the microwave, and her hair is like 80% dry already just from air drying just that quick. So I probably will have to actually re-wet it a little bit just to make it easier to comb through and blow dry because as y'all know trying to brush through dry curls is not the business really interesting to see the difference how it looks when it's curly it's just like shoulder length but when i straighten it it's going to be like down to her waistband okay so for products i'm basically just going off of what i used to use to straighten my hair my natural hair is actually coincidentally straightened today this is my first time in a very long time experimenting with straightening my natural hair because my hair has been cut super short or i've been wearing wigs or protective styles so i've not had you know long curly hair to straighten for the past like two years but back before that when i did have long curly hair kind of similar to Zaya's hair. I did use to straighten my hair. My hair texture is like kind of similar to Zaya's hair. It's a little bit different. Her curl pattern is a little bit different than mine, but I'm just gonna take what I know from doing my hair and you know, basically just experiment and test it out on her hair because obviously I've never straightened her hair before. So I don't really know what you know products work best for her exact hair type. But what I used to use for my hair is basically a heat protectant spray. This is the Bondi Boost Heat Protect Spray and then the Chi Silk Infusion Serum. And my whole thing whenever I used to straighten my hair is I would actually try to have my hair be as clean as possible and not use a lot of product. I found that if I used too much product, it just really weighed my hair down and it didn't really give me like a silky flowy result. When I just use like a little bit of product, that's when I would get the best result on my hair. And then like I said, since her hair dried so fast already, I'm actually going to spray her hair down just with plain water because again, I don't want to add a lot of different products. I'm going to spritz her hair down just to make it easier to 
brush through and comb through in order to blow dry it. So I know it kind of seems kind of backwards because I'm wetting her hair right when I'm about to dry it, but it's just like I said, because you can't brush through dry curls. And then I actually have three different blow dryers that I want to kind of test out on her hair. The first one is my Dyson blow dryer and I have the comb attachment on it. This Dyson blow dryer, even though it's pricey, to me it's definitely worth the hype. It's just a very powerful blow dryer that will just dry your hair like twice as fast. So this is what I would normally use like on myself. But for long curly hair, sometimes I find that it's nice to have like a paddle brush attachment like this. So this is a Hot Shot Tools. I think I got this from like Walmart or something. It's like literally a paddle brush. The hot air comes out through here. So as you're brushing through the hair, it's drying it at the same time. And sometimes this is just easier to kind of like detangle and dry for curly hair. But I just recently got the infamous viral, super popular right now, Revlon One Step Volumizer Plus round brush dryer thing. I haven't even opened it yet. So here it is, it actually came in two pieces. This is the new version. It's like a round brush, it's not completely round. You can see it's kind of like an oval. And I've just been seeing this all over the internet. Everyone is talking about this for doing like a blowout. So I wanted to try it. I really mostly got this to use like on my wigs to get that like blowout style on my long wigs. But I feel like it might also be helpful to do a blowout and then I can go in with the flat iron after on her hair. What I have seen with this is that people say to kind of pre-blow dry the hair first, like regularly, and then go in with this one. So I guess I'm gonna use the Dyson first and then go in and like smooth it out with this one. Okay, so before I even blow dry, I'm gonna go in with the heat protectant spray because this is a heat protectant. So before you add any heat, you should be applying this first. And I'm going to section her hair kind of just like half up, half down, so I can work section by section. Heat protectant on this layer. Let's try the Dyson. See, that's the thing. This is a really quick, powerful blow dryer, but this comb attachment. I think for her hair texture, I actually prefer the brush. So already I can tell that I feel like I'm gonna like using the brush better. It's just gonna be easier. So I'm gonna actually switch over to this. Yeah, this is just a lot easier to use on her hair texture. That's kind of just a quick little rough dry. That's what hot hair smells like. You never experienced that before. So that literally took like literally maybe one minute <laughs> to do this whole half of her head with that brush dryer. And I honestly got it pretty smooth. I honestly don't really feel like it's a necessity to go back over it with this one. I do want to just try it though, just to try it. Honestly, these two things are essentially the same thing. It's just obviously this one is a different shape that helps you kind of like wrap it and smooth it a little bit more than this one, but there's not that big of a difference between these. So let's see. <sighs> Yeah, the bristles on this one and the shape definitely kind of help to smooth it out a little bit extra. You can definitely kind of like, you know, really do the hair like this <laughs> to like get it more smooth. You can't do that as well with this shape. The room is a mess in the background. Oh well, it's realistic. Okay, I need you to not look at the camera. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bottom half blown out. Let me see if I just go in straight with the Revlon brush, not using this one first, if that works. Okay, okay. 
Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I actually like this thing. I thought it was gonna kind of be like not worth the hype, but this works, like just this by itself. Like it's working to kind of like detangle the hair because it has like the plastic bristles and then it also has like the smoothing bristles. I don't know if y'all can see the two different types. So this is kind of like detangling the curls and then the other ones are kind of smoothing the hair to get it a little bit straighter. And then like the shape helps you like smooth it. Okay, I feel like I don't even need this one. Good to know. Next section. This is only my third section and I'm probably only gonna have one more section so I'm able to blow dry her hair with only doing four sections, which is nice. The only thing I don't like about this is that to turn it on, you have to twist this bottom thing. So you can't do it with one hand. Like, you know, with like a curling iron or a straightener, it'll be like a button. So you could just be like, boop, boop, turn it off and on. As I'm using my Dyson, I can just like turn it off and on, set it to cool, change whatever I need to change, like with one hand as I'm doing the hair. But for this, you need two hands to like hold it and twist it. So I keep having to stop and let go. So that's kind of annoying. I wish it was a button. So Revlon, if you're listening, make it a button. Okay, maybe I lied. I think I have two more sections, but this really isn't taking too long, so that's good. Okay, so we are officially done with the blow drying phase. I feel like I got it pretty smooth, you know. I wasn't trying to get it perfect because I am going to flat iron it. I know if you're trying to not put too much heat, some people would only do the blow drying and not the flat ironing, but I definitely am going to flat iron it. So I wasn't worried about trying to get it like perfectly bone straight with the blow dryer. So this is what it's looking like, just blown out. She could definitely use a haircut. She has never, ever, 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 ever gotten a haircut. Maybe I should just do a little quick little trim of the ends. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna do the most simple little trim of her ends. Probably just like that straight across. She definitely needs a real haircut and I will take her to a salon at some point, but just for now, I'm just gonna do a really simple trim. That's at least better, better than nothing. I don't know how to do real haircuts. Y'all know that from the videos of me cutting my own hair. So I am not going to subject Zaya to my nonsense, but just cut off like these super dead ends. Just a little bit. This is all I cut off, don't worry. <laughs> okay, now for the flat ironing, I'm just using this random straightener, nothing you know special about it. And then this is where I'm gonna go in with the Chi Serum. Only using a small, like little pea sized amount because I do not want her hair to basically end up looking greasy with this stuff. So I'm just gonna run this through, mostly focusing on her ends. Again, this is just how I used to do my hair when my hair was long. So that's where I'm getting all this from. Her ends are actually kind of dry because like I said, she needs a haircut. So I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more right on the very bottom of her hair. But then after this, I'm really not going to put any more product in her hair, especially with her hair being more fine. I know it's gonna get weighed down with product and it can end up looking like stringy and oily instead of flowy and soft. So let's go ahead and section off very back. Okay, first time a flat iron has ever touched her hair. This flat iron goes all the way up to like 450, but I'm gonna turn it down to like 350. And I normally like to do the chase method where you get a fine tooth comb to make sure you're really combing through, but let's see. Smooth. 
kind of scared to get her roots because I'm scared to burn her. I feel like it's okay if her roots are not perfectly slick because I would rather leave them a little puffy just to keep her more comfortable because I'm not honestly used to straightening somebody else's hair. I can't even remember the last time I straightened somebody else's hair. So I just want to be super careful. I'm using a lower temperature to protect from heat damage, but that also means that it's a little bit harder to get it super straight, but that's okay. And honestly, I think I'm probably gonna have to like twist it up or braid it up in some kind of way for her to sleep with it. So it's gonna like have a curl to it when I let it out in the morning, like a twist out or a braid out type vibe, you know, to add like some heatless waves so it doesn't matter if it's bone straight anyway. Okay, first section done. It's really soft. I'm actually surprised with how fine her hair is. Her hair is actually really fine. You can't tell as much when it's curly, but like, look. Like her hair's not thin, she has plenty of hair. Like her scalp is not showing, as you can see, but like her actual strands of hair are fine and like really soft versus having thick strands of hair. Okay, next section. I did some off camera and now I'm just kind of down to this front section here. We're gonna do a side part, so I'm just gonna keep sectioning. And I'm not worrying about her roots too, too much. I want it to look, you know, done and neat, but it don't have to be perfect. Her hair is so long, it's actually kind of hard to get it all in one pass. So it kind of looks like I'm going going over it a bunch of times but it's because I can't even get all the way down in a nice one motion. Okay, almost done. Like two more sections. I'm really like out of practice with this. It takes a certain amount of coordination to do this. I think the flat ironing is done. I'm gonna use this Kiss Edge Fixer Max Hold Watermelon Edge Control. Okay, we are all done. Here is the final product. Wow. It's very soft, it feels healthy. Like I said, she does need a real haircut, but for now, I think I did a little decent trim. So here it is from the back. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to see it? Okay, let's go look in the mirror in your room. Walk over here, close your eyes, close your eyes. Keep them closed, keep them closed. Okay, one, two, three. What do you think? Pull it to the front, look at it. What does it feel like? It feels smooth and it feels like I have less hair. It feels like you have less hair? Do you feel like it makes you look older? You feel like a big girl? I feel like I'm seven. You feel like you look seven? You do kind of look seven because you're tall. And look how long it is. Now you can really see how long your hair really is because normally when it's curly, it kind of shrinks up to like here. I think it looks good for now. Let's see, give me some poses. <laughs> okay, give me a little shake, like to the back. A little shake. <laughs> wow. No more baby Zaya. Baby Zaya used to only have one little piece of hair right here. Do you remember that? You had one little hair. Now you have all this hair. I remember when I just had one little hair sticking up with one bow. Yeah. It was barely enough hair to put a little tiny bow on. Now you have all this hair, you can do whatever kind of hairstyle you want. We can put some accessories in it for school tomorrow, but for tonight, 
I think the best thing to do is probably wrap it up into a bun and put your bonnet on. You have your custom Paw Patrol bonnet. A subscriber made this for you. I always forget the name of the business. If you're the one who made this, comment below so we can show you some love. Doesn't have a tag on it to say the business name, but it's super cute. It's got Paw Patrol and it's got the satin lining to protect her hair on the inside. Okay, so I am just going to pull her hair back into a low twisted bun, I think. I am not good at wrapping hair, like actually wrapping it around the whole head. I've never been able to do it on myself and I know I'm not gonna be able to do it on her. Plus, I have a feeling it would come undone in her sleep anyway. So I'm just gonna go the easy route and go like this. And like I said, this is probably going to give her hair kind of a wavy look in the morning, but I think that'll be cute, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just gonna twist it around. And then I'm gonna use this satin scrunchie to hold it. So just a simple little low bun, and then protect it with the bonnet. Okay, so this is how she's gonna sleep tonight, and hopefully it keeps her hair protected and nice and smooth. And I will show you guys what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so it is the next morning. We are getting ready for school and we just took the bonnet off and took the little bun off. So you can see the little waves that the bun put in her hair. I think it actually turned out really cute like that. So you can just kind of separate it out a little bit so it's not all clumped together. Her hair held up pretty well overnight as far as like not poofing up or frizzing up too, too bad. It did get a little frizzy, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this argan oil on it. Oh, that was a lot that came out. I'm not gonna use all of that. Like that. And then Zaya has requested some hair clips for her accessories today. And I think this will also help keep your hair out of your face a little bit since you're not used to wearing your hair down. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it turned out super cute, especially with the little curly ends. I think that that looks even better than just having it plain straight. And you look like such a big girl. Give us a little tiny shake. Wow, pretty. You see it in the mirror right there? You like it? Are you excited to go to school and show your friends? Let me know what you think about my hair in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.